all of our sweet angel. Well, I'll tell you right now, you couldn't embarrass yourself because I already love you and already am so grateful for you caring at all, so thank you. Oh, I was wondering, do I think I just have like party tricks? Ooh, that's a, that's a fun question. Any hidden talents or party tricks? Um, I do have a couple party tricks uh, that I can't give away because then they won't work anymore. So I can't do them, but I'm trying to think of any hidden talents. Oh. God, guys, I wish I had some. Oh, you know what I can do? Is I created a dance move. Called the jump rope. You ready? I, I wouldn't call this a talent, but I did I did originate it, so you heard it. back I'm gonna have a talent so I don't have to do that again. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. Hi, my name's Alona and I was wondering if in your personal opinion, do you prefer floss with Camille or Claire Caroline? I feel like I've said that in interviews before where like, you know, what is the one thing you wish could, like the ending that you wish could have happened? And I'm really happy with the ending. I know not everyone is, but um, you know, we, there, there were some characters that were just ready to be put at rest and some people got really happy endings and Freya was one of them. And I would have loved to introduce her son. And then imagine if her son went to school with hope, like, right? Wouldn't that be so cool? I do wish that. I do wish, maybe one day, who knows? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Virginia, and my question for you is, what was the most awkward slash uncomfortable scene you ever had to film in the original? In the originals. The most awkward scene. Hmm. That's a good question. You know, we, we really became like such a family that it's hard to even picture there being necessarily an awkwardness. Um, uh, but I, I think again, it just has to be any time I was, I was chanting um, and I had to get really into it because on TV, you know, it looks like it makes sense. It's like I'm chanting and all this stuff's happening and it's really cool and then on set, like everyone's completely quiet staring at you with cameras and you're like having to like pretend you're like being like possessed or you know doing a chant or like they're they're shoving fake blood up your nose so that when they call action and you go down it like falls out um so that stuff you really i really had to learn to just like kind of let go because it, it would feel a little like embarrassing you know to have to be like uh, chanting so loud, and I'm sure you guys remember this story, but I, a lot of the actors were really good at improv the chants. If they don't remember it, they would just improv. And uh, so one day I was having trouble with one of my chants, and I like was really, really into it, and I was like saying all the words, and then couldn't remember the next word, and then somehow I just went like, Al Pacino! <laughs> And people were like, did you just say Al Pacino? And I was like, no, I did not. I was chanting. And so that was really embarrassing and awkward. Uh, yeah, and I also fell a lot. I still do. I, I fall on average three times a day on nothing, just trip. Um, so that, that was always embarrassing to be playing this, like, you know, super strong character who just would fall in the air. They have a lot of blooper reels in that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did I? Uh, yes. 
I, you know, that's also a funny story because we had a rap party before we, uh, before our last day of filming. And our costume designer, you know, we all had a, had a few drinks at said party. And our, our costume designer was like, you know, yeah, you guys should come by because we have all these doubles of your clothes because we had to have like multiple, multiple clothes because we get blood on everything. And so they would need a clean version for the next day. And she's like, we have all these doubles. So like, you know, come by. And so sure enough, a few of us overhear this. And the last day, I uh, went into our costume room and I grabbed a bag and I pulled like 10, le- don't tell anyone. I pulled like 10 leather jackets, like 10 pairs of pants, like several shirts, and I threw them, stuffed them into a bag, and I was like, is this good? And she could tell she was really like, ah, you know, I didn't really mean that. And I was like, okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> And to this day, a lot of my closet is still Freya's closet. <laughs> I do. I do. I wear the, the jackets often, the leather pants only on special occasions, you know. Um, but yeah, I do. I still wear the stuff. And I think about it. Every time I get rid of something, I'm like, ah, this is Freya's. Maybe one day someone will know. Thank you. Hi, my name's Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Um, my question is, what was your reaction to, be, to being asked to come to Legacies, and how did it feel to be back? My reaction was like, hell yeah! I mean, I mean, yeah, that's cool, you know, <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, no, I, um, I'm always trying to make it work, and they're always trying to make it work whenever we can. It's, it's uh, scheduling, typically, is the issue, and also, you know, they created um, their own beautiful world. Um, that um, is amazing and it's their own story. So, but my reaction um, when I was asked uh, was hell yeah. And I am really nostalgic to go back to even like the drive into Conyers and be back on set and see everything kind of change. Um, and just the, the whole new family that they created there was really cool to see and super nostalgic and um, really, really fun. I will always enjoy uh, playing Freya again. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank no, you. I love you too. Hi. Hi. So if Freya can be on any TV show and movie besides the original Freya specifically? The character. Ooh, guys, I feel like I need your help with that. What show would Freya be cool in? Which one? Vikings. Vikings. Ooh, that would be super cool. Maybe. Which one? Outlander. Ooh, Outlander. <gasps> Could you imagine? Can you imagine her like back in the like those that time? That would be super cool. Love Practical that. magic. I've thought of Game of Thrones because it's a secret fantasy of me. I'm like, can't they put Freya, a witch, in Game of Thrones already? I mean, I know it's over, but like, can we make that happen? I think they should. So, so those are our three answers. So let's make that happen. Thank you so much. Hi, Claire. Um, the answer is kind of yes. Actually, it's it's a hundred percent yes. I just forgot about this. I initially auditioned to play Haley a long time ago. Yes, I almost forgot about that. I did, and then um, when I auditioned again for originals, they said I was auditioning to play Davina's sister, um, which now. In, I realized was just kind of they trick us because they don't want us to really know who we're playing at first. They don't want us to like leak it out. So they just put together an audition saying you're going to be Davina's sister. And so I booked the role and then when I landed um, to shoot it, one of the writers um, was like, you know you're one of the Michaelsons. And I was like, what? I had no idea. And I was like, well, those are big shoes to fill. They're like, yeah, you're the oldest Michelson sibling. And I had no idea until I was there shooting that I would be Freya. And I even told my friends, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go shoot 
um, for like a few weeks. I'll see you in a few weeks, and I didn't come back for five years. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Thank you so much, Claire.